Greetings, fellow noobs, and welcome back to another noob cast. We are still on our hash and dream kick. Hash is the uh, light pink pro. Uh, <laughs> Terran down here in the bottom left of these Zelnaga caverns, and Dream as the green Protoss in the top right. Uh, I've closed everything that uh, I think um, <clears throat> Hash is talking about the last one. Uh, the last game where um, Hash ended up beating Dream after losing to him on Metalopolis, beat him on. Um, they're talking about things that happen and hopefully you've seen that game <laughs> it's a previous uh, previous cast um, I went and medicated myself so hopefully that will kick in and I won't be coughing nearly as much um, and uh, be able to get through this what it will be the final cast of the evening uh, it's the third of three games that I have of Dream and Hash playing against one another. I think these are practice matches. Um, just uh, playing together and, and um, Hash does play on a pro team, uh, Team YG. I <laughs> wish I could remember what that stood for. Um, and Dream, as far as I know, is not on a team. <coughs> um, So yeah, uh, welcome again to Noobcast, where our interest is in your interest in this game. Um, finding entertaining diamonds in the <laughs> bronze and silver and gold leagues. Uh, Platinum 2. Um, we do have players in our player pool from all, uh, from all the leagues. Uh, we do, and we are able to cast uh, bronze games. Um, up through diamond games, uh, our casters are all also in um, all the different leagues. Um, Digibooty is a diamond uh, uh, Terran player. <coughs> I am a silver Protoss player. We do have a couple of bronzies. As Dream drops the manor gas in Hash's base, and one. Marine out to try and take it down already at half health and gets cancelled before the final warping. Um, so just trying to hold hold off that gas production as long as possible um, without hurting your own economy at all. Not a bad play. I don't really know that it... I mean, obviously when you get this high level play and everybody's doing everything um, right and not making little mistakes like getting food blocked or um, you know not making probes constantly or SCVs constantly and, um, <clears throat> when all the mechanics are being done at a high level then you need to have those those little advantages of you know keeping him from getting two gases up for an extra 30 seconds you know that might actually make a difference later on because when he's got um, you know, when he's got, when he can't make that extra Thor or whatever for 30 extra seconds, that might make a difference in the end game when there's a big battle and that one Thor might actually make a difference in the battle. Um, you know, but if, you know what, if you're playing me in the Silver League game and you, like, steal my gas, that's, I think it's kind of dumb, frankly, <laughs> because we're both make we're both screwing up so bad that... In, in all the things and other important things that you taking my gas for 20 or 30 seconds is not going to make a big difference. It's not going to be a game changing move. I mean, by all means, do it. Practice it. <clears throat> but it's, it's not going to be a game changer. Um, most of the time. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's not like it. Oh, look, cough. <coughs> ah, yes. So again, um, again, unless you've watched the last three in a row, you're not hearing any of this for any more than the first time. So let me say, uh, I'll give a warm welcome to all of our new subscribers. Uh, welcome to Noobcast. We are uh, uber psyched to have you here. Uh, we hope you enjoy the 
quality product that we <laughs> product the quality uh, casts that we put out uh, we like to be pretty prolific we like to cast a lot of games we like to get them out there um, and hopefully uh, they are entertaining for your viewing pleasure um, but again we are all about uh, just showing that it's not only it's not only pro games that are beneficial to watch um, unless of course you're a pro obviously if you're good if you're a diamond level player um, then watching some of our silver casts are not going to be very informative um, and unless you get a kick out of you know pointing out and noticing and pointing out uh, inferior players mistakes you probably won't get a kick out of a lot of our casts um, <clears throat> but the, the fact of the matter is is there's a whole lot more bronze silver gold uh, platinum players than there are diamond and pro players um, and so you guys can benefit because um, you know what I've found is that uh, if I watch a pro game um, it's beneficial it's beneficial if I study pro games uh, it's beneficial for my strategy it's beneficial how did he see that where oh there's a rain right there hello <clears throat> um, it's beneficial for my strategy it's beneficial for build orders it's beneficial for um, seeing how the game is meant to be played and um, on the other hand however what is not beneficial is um, you know I can't do what a pro can do I don't have the mechanics to do what a pro does um, I don't have the uh, you know I don't have the ability mechanically or you know just not able to practice as much or be as good or as fast or, <clears throat> or the APM to do what a pro player can do so um, while I can watch pro games to, to find what I can do, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna learn what my mistakes are by watching what a pro player does. I have to watch someone at my level or my own games to find out what it is that I'm doing wrong. Um, and so, <clears throat> as you watch uh, newcast games uh, and you're a lower level player. We point out mistakes, whether they're macro mistakes, micro mistakes, uh, positioning mistakes, strategy mistakes. You can say, oh, I do that all the time, and know that it's bad and why it's bad. Uh, hopefully. You know, I'm not, we're not the end all be all of StarCraft knowledge. I'm not day nine. Uh, he is, he's the man as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's encyclopedic knowledge of StarCraft, which I do not have, and I admit willingly. Um, but you know we don't also we don't pause and, and stop and go back and, and do those kinds of things as we see the first major engagement of this battle of this match going down uh, Zealots really taking it to these Terran bio units uh, the tanks being picked up by the <laughs> medvac very good play by Hash saw he was getting demolished took his prized units <clears throat> in the medevac to try and get them out of dodge and uh, Dream gonna follow him down and just kind of probably not press and just keep map, map position advantage here as he drops the gold expansion for, for his third. Uh, a lot of players like to get this as a third and then come down here for their fourth um, but I think more and more people are particularly in this map are taking down these destructible rocks and getting the gold first and saving this base up here and this base for fourth and fifth bases if necessary um, <coughs> so as I was saying um, you know pro level games um, it's gonna be harder for me to learn what I'm doing wrong it's great for learning what to do right, but not so good for finding out what I'm doing wrong. Um, I've got to watch people who play on my level or my own games um, in order to see what it is that I'm doing wrong. 
<laughs> and a lot of times, frankly, uh, watching your own games isn't going to help you either. Um, or at least not as much as having someone else watch <laughs> your games. So, um, and that's what we tr that's part of what we try to do. We try to commentate. Um, if you have a game where you know you're not sure what happened or um, things like that, we like to we like to to look at that and try and help you out too. If you have strategy that isn't working for you, or um, oh, we see, look at this. We have Hash taking the uh, his third base down here at the low ground expansion, and also clearing out the destructible rocks to take a fast fourth. We have this pylon here, going to so we're going to see exactly what's happening. Dream's going to know that Hash has a fourth base, or a third base, um, and look, constructing a fourth right away as well, getting at that big old advantage. Drop Dream dropping another pylon here to uh, be scoping things out. He's done it here as well. Very good idea, <clears throat> just as a way to keep an eye on what's happening in the base, building lots of bunkers in order to get this gold base established. Um, so anyway, enough talk about us. If you would like to be involved with Noobcasts by uh, submitting your games, please uh, feel free to do so. You can submit your replays by sending them to noobcasters at gmail.com. Um, we get all our email there, so uh, feel free to, if you, just, if you have any questions or comments about the site, um, or any anything at all, feel free to email us there, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I am able. <clears throat> I do personally watch all the replays. Every replay that's been sent in, I watched, um, and I'm sure if I start getting a million replays, I'm not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> but, uh, so please, if you do send in a replay, try and give a brief description. Um, <coughs> Pardon me, gee. Maybe um, the length and um, what we're looking for from an entertainment standpoint is uh, good back and forth and not a lot of turtle fests. Um, this game is actually a pretty, uh, was a fairly decent indication. The last two games were pretty good. Normally, 12 minutes. Um, I like to see the first attack by 10 minutes, um, but 12 minutes, if the rest of the game is good, 12 minutes is fine as well <clears throat> um, but if it's like um, you know we try to stay away from the turtle fests and the uh, really long um, and not fun macro games I love macro games as much as anybody so long as they are <clears throat> they're fun <laughs> and there's lots of action, lots of back and forth. As we've seen in these games, the first one was a little was a little rough, uh, and one of those tanks out a little bit past the bound its appropriate boundaries. <coughs> um, these tanks just pounding on this expansion of dreams. <coughs> Okay, apparently I should not have done this third cast. But we see Dream moving in, got the storms dropping crazy.